Have you ever heard the old contractor adage, there's two types of concrete? There's concrete like this that's cracked, or there's concrete that's going to crack? There's a reason why that phrase came about, because all concrete is gonna get some type of cracking in it. And if I were to put tile right on top of this concrete, these little cracks that you see here are gonna migrate straight through the tile, and I'm gonna see the same crack pattern before long at the very top of my tile, and it's gonna be a warranty or a callback problem for me. Trust me, the reason I know this is I've made this mistake before, but this is gonna prevent that for us. We're gonna be talking today about the USG Durock uncoupling mat. Today's build show is sponsored by USG. Let's get going. Okay, so cracked concrete. These cracks that you're seeing here, very typical to see on concrete. This is not a structural defect, but these cracks will affect the structure of your tile if you're adhering tile right to them. And this is how we're gonna prevent it. Now this is not a new category, but this is a new product for USG. Uncoupling membranes and mats like this have been around for a long time. I've used them probably for about a decade now. And I can tell you they will prevent those cracks from migrating forward. This one is a new one though from USG. They all look a little bit similar. They kind of look like a smashed egg crate material. You're gonna see some kind of fleece backer on one side and that's the side that's gonna go down onto the concrete. And then the egg crate side is gonna go up. And what's gonna happen is those cracks are gonna hit the bottom of this and they're not gonna migrate through. It's gonna keep the integrity of your tile install. Now, a couple things you wanna know about these. Uh, this runs somewhere in the dollar to maybe a dollar twenty a square foot range in today's price point for this USG model. Some of the other ones I've used in the in the past have been something like fifty percent more. So this is a big deal. This is a really nice product uh, with a good value at about fifty percent less than some of the competitors I've used over the years. But what it's going to do is keep those cracks from migrating up, but it's also going to do a couple other things. It's going to manage some vapor for us as well. If I had some vapor coming up through the slab, this is going to stop it. And the other way around, it's also going to provide a waterproof install for us. So they make some accessory pieces, some rolls of the same uh, type of product that fits with this so that where your seams come together on this roll, if we use that accessory band and lace it in correctly, we're gonna be able to prevent water from getting through this. This is a big deal for, uh, let's say, a bathroom floor install that we're trying to get waterproof. But the other thing this is gonna do is it's gonna eliminate the need for backer board compared to, let's say, a, a quarter inch or a half inch uh, cementitious or fiber cement backer board. This is way lighter. This one roll is something like 300 square feet. And you, could see, you saw I could easily bring that roll into the house. And the other thing about this roll from the USG compared to some other products out there, no memory. If I kick this off in the house, you're gonna see it's not gonna curl back up for us. It's gonna stay nice and flat. Now when you're laying this, you're gonna lay this down with thin set. And one particularly cool thing about this USG Durarock brand is it, it doesn't matter whether you use modified or unmodified. Some of the other products out there have to use one or the other. This one's agnostic. When you're laying it though, you wanna make sure that you pull the fleece side back up to make sure you're getting really good adhesion. You want this to be fully adhered to the concrete slab, and then your tile is gonna get adhered on top of this. Now I use this on my house on my front and back porches, which were slab on grade concrete as well, with some concrete collaborative tile pavers. They were basically adhered just like tile. They were just a little bit thicker. They were like three quarter inch thick. And my front porch, which already had some, <laughs> some cracks in the slab, and my back porch now, here we are a year later, they look amazing. No issues, all those cracks were stopped at that uncoupling membrane. So guys, this was a sponsored video by USG, but if you take nothing from this video, you need to know that if you're doing tile on top of concrete, you wanna spend the money for an uncoupling membrane, like this USG Duroc uncoupling mat. Very, very important. Just a little bit over a dollar a square foot for the material, then you're gonna have a little bit of labor but it means that you're not gonna get a call back. Your tile job is gonna look just as good years down the road as it is the day you install it. Oh, and lastly, going back to the alternative to backer board, you saw how light this was to carry in the house at 300 square feet. That would be like the equivalent of 10 sheets of a quarter or a half inch backer board that would be heavy to carry in, that would be super dusty to cut. 
I'd have to control that dust on the job site. This just cuts like a knife, super easy to install. This is a terrific product. To learn more about this, I'll put a link in the description below, guys. And big thanks to USG for sponsoring today's video. Like I said earlier, you've got to use something between your tile and your concrete or you will get a call back on those cracks. Guys, if you're not currently a subscriber, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content here at The Build Show every Tuesday and every Friday. And oh, by the way, on our website, buildshownetwork.com, I actually have 12 contributors now. We have like 13 or 14 new videos every single week on our website. Click the link in the description below for our newsletter. Follow me on TikTok or Instagram, otherwise we'll see you next time on The Build Show.